Hello Alex, <laughs> another week, another video where I make you watch me make something. I figured I'd try to make a sketch or a template or an idea or something for a little logo like we've been talking about. Usually when artists make cool super speed art videos like this, I don't think they're using Microsoft Paint, but you already know that I'm a long time hardcore Microsoft Paint devotee, so this probably doesn't surprise you. Uh, maybe weirdly, Microsoft Paint is all tied up with Dear Hank and John for me, actually. I remember when I got really into the pod the summer before we met. I'd never really listened to a podcast just recreationally before. I had no idea what to do with my hands while I was listening, or just like my eyes or my mouth or my body more generally. I like to stay occupied, I guess, so I would pull the pod up on SoundCloud on my computer that was the only way I could listen to podcasts at the time. And pull up Paint 2 was because if I tried to do two things on the internet at the same time, my laptop would crash. Yeah, that's where we were. Anyway, I'd make things like this. I'll throw some more up here after this. I'm not really sure watching me misuse the curved line tool 80 times in a row is really all that visually interesting after all. And I do want you to feel occupied by this video too, I guess. <laughs> I made some of these drawings with circles too. On some level, I think it's sort of wild that years before John started talking about making his circle drawings, I was making my own while I listened to him just give insane advice to random people who wrote into the pot. You could call it a coincidence, but I mean, circles really lend themselves to this kind of repetitive drawing, I think. I'm not gonna act like fate or the universe or anything was involved in that. Where it really was at for me, though, was rectangles. I made so many rectangle drawings. Maybe they're the circles of digital art? For me, anyway. They don't have to be anyone else's. I remember imagining myself into drawings like this in slower moments, but Hank or John would usually make me laugh enough at some point in the pod that I couldn't fall completely into colors and shapes. But that is what I like about looking at pictures like this. There's so much going on that I feel like if I were inside a picture, I'd just dissolve. But if I'm just making it in paint, I'm still on the outside of it. Because, you know, obviously I'm not really turning myself into digital pixels or whatever. Like, ugh, Sarah, ugh, ooh. <laughs> and the idea of all of that gets to be way too overwhelming. I do just have this aerial view to fall back to. I'm trying to do something very different with this logo thing, mainly putting, exact, you know, any thought into it at all. The rectangles are more about, like, feeling and instinct. I'm not trying to make something that sends me to another dimension here. Like, if I had to give you and our friendship and the projects we start together some kind of characterization or D&D alignment, I might say like, chaotic cozy, which, you know, very real D&D terminology there. Anyway, I guess that's what I'm thinking with this sketch. The chaos is the, uh, you know, general name and everything. The campfire is cozy, maybe? Uh, the color scheme is as requested. I think overall, it's a pretty clear homage to the pod, which is very fitting, I guess, for me to be using Microsoft Paint to do that, given. Let me know what you think. Should I go weirder? Because part of me feels like I should go weirder, but I'm not really sure what we want it to look like in the end. And we should make that decision together. I want to find something we both really like, if at all possible. So no matter what you think, talk soon about something, I'm sure. Bye for now, friend.